What do you think of this crowd? I think this crowd is great. I think it's a tribute to Stacy, you know, being in the community. 85 years that all these people are here to say goodbye. Uh, it's a great resource, a refuge. Uh, I can't remember the rain, the sun. I don't know why they're closing. The biggest way of explaining is that is that we have the big the big elephant in the room is that we have too much space, and the space was negotiated at a time when Amazon didn't exist, and when having a really big store was was a huge asset. Um, and so not only did we have a big store, we enlarged our store in 1995. Um, and really, if we had the same space we had then, we wouldn't be going under. Stacy's has done uh, uh, wonderful things for me. They invited me to read here. Uh, they were very warm and welcoming. And uh, I'm, I'm broken hearted to see them go. I'm going to chain myself to the gates. Just it's such a sad moment that this institution is closed. It's been here since before the Great Depression, 1923. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. I think that this enormous outpouring of supports is something. Uh, and here I am. I'm about to get in line and buy a bunch of books. So, being in an environment where people know about books and know about ideas and know about authors and that whole personal process is incredibly valuable to me. And to lose Stacy's, which has been here for 85 years, 89 years, whatever it is, is, um, is, is such deep sorrow I don't know. I don't have words for it. You know, I really liked it as a place to come yeah. back, see friends read. Mark, it will be it will be missed oh, yeah, here downtown. Yes, no, I hope I something from, will from, replace from, it so people don't feel like people don't feel like lunchtime yeah, downtown is about eating lunch and rushing back to your yeah, desk totally. as quickly as possible. Thank you for. Um, I want to welcome you to Stacy's author event series, and this is a series of sixteen. This is our last one. This was the old German Luftwaffe bunker from World War II several years ago. She used a euphemism instead of...